Back in 2013 to 2014, the S5 from Samsung and the 5S from Apple were at war and they were dominant phones in the market. But how do they stack up in 2017 versus each other? Hey guys, Ryan Thomas here with Failtech and you're about to find out. The standout issues are possibly TouchWiz on the S5 and the older, not easily replaceable battery on the 5S, which can be an issue because these old phones do tend to have really small cells and they can degrade massively over time. Like I said, these phones came out in 2013 to 2014 with this S5 being being the newer model. They both go for between 100 and 200 pounds on eBay depending on the condition and in my opinion there isn't really a clear winner on the price but we'll get to that. The designs and build materials really couldn't be any more different and you're getting a very plastic key IP67 rated chassis on the S5 with metal and glass and an albeit slightly more dainty design on the iPhone 5S. The biggest difference between the two is the change in build material from a device that feels like it could be sold from £100 to a device that could be maybe worth at least half of its release price. But you do sacrifice that build quality for more features, a larger screen, a bigger battery and water resistance rating as the S5 has a removable back, removable battery and micro SD expansion. The fingerprint scanner come home button combos are both front facing too which is a placement that I like but I prefer the rear scanner personally. I would have to choose the 5S as the winner here purely for its premium materials and dainty design that really has lasted and dated pretty well. With regards to the screens, I don't feel like there's much of a competition. I believe that the S5 absolutely trumps the 5S with its 5.1 inch 1080p Super AMOLED display that just looks stunning. The colours are amazingly oversaturated and the sharpness is fantastic. I really do think that Samsung make the best phone screens here. Everything from the S3 up to the S8, the screens are just the best in the business in my opinion. This is compared to an even daintier 4 inch sub 720p IPS panel on the iPhone. The viewing angles and colour reproduction accuracy are much better on the 5S granted and I think I can't really go back to an IPS panel from an OLED panel. Both of these are what I would consider to be retina panels so they're sharp enough for watching videos and reading small text and things like that which means you can't really go wrong with either but if I had to pick a clear winner it would be the Samsung Galaxy S5. The camera is pretty good on the 5S but it's pretty great on the S5. The iPhone has an 8 megapixel shooter with f2.2 glass and the ability to shoot 1080p video. Sounds pretty good. The camera was alright and the software is super fast so shutter delay is pretty much none. On the other hand we have a 16 megapixel sensor with f2.2 glass on the Samsung device that can shoot you UHD or consumer 4K video. Both phones can shoot 720p at 120fps so you do get a little bit of slow-mo which is nice to see on these older phones. You do get micro SD expansion for the S5 so you can shoot as much as your card can handle and it's a huge bonus that you really don't get with any iPhone let alone just the 5S. The secondary cameras scale about the same when it comes to the quality as you get a 1.2 megapixel shooter on the 5S which hasn't got a super wide angle lens but is pretty good. As for the Samsung device, well that's a 2 megapixel sensor with a much wider lens that I really like for getting all your friends in the shot and all your family in the shot. It really does work well when getting group selfies and if I had to pick a winner of course I would go with the Samsung for both the rear and the front facing camera. The performance specs of these phones are not incredibly similar with the Apple A7 dual core equipped iPhone 5S having half the cores of the Snapdragon 801 quad core equipped Samsung S5. Wow that was a mouthful. This doesn't necessarily scale to performance as I found the iPhone to perform actually better than the Galaxy in terms of everyday use as it, the S5 seemed to struggle under stock software although both were on social media apps and games what else do you really want from a slightly older phone I would definitely have to pick the 5s as the winner here the small and rather understated iPhone 5s is a much better performer than the S5 when it comes to reliability speed and overall kind of feeling like a newer phone mentioning the software then I had few too many issues with TouchWiz to call it a good experience so yeah there was too much blow and too many crashes for me to want to use TouchWiz 6.0 again on the S5 however the crazy amount of optimization on the iPhone along with the crispy UI and smoothness means that hands down I would take the 5S over the, the Samsung unit every day of the week. You may not get as many features but the stability and usability more than make up for it. As for the battery life whilst iOS will make more of a smaller cell the problem with these older phones is you want to go for a removable battery because the batteries get old and so the ability to replace and upgrade is critical if you want to use your phone a lot. You can get new batteries and battery backs for the S5 no problem and it's a 2600 mAh cell so it's already bigger 
than the iPhone cell. And it's really easy to upgrade too because it's just a removable back, whereas the iPhone 5S is a sealed unit. And yes, you can replace it if you want to, and you're gonna wanna take a little bit of time because you don't wanna break that phone. You'll get about two to three hours of screen on time on both until you change the battery and software of the S5 where you can get a solid five hours, which is a crazy improvement, but I've personally seen this and it works really well. The power of custom ROMs is incredible, as long as you can do it without bricking your S5 though. Neither devices are going to battle HTC's boom sound or Nexus 6 or 6P speakers, as the S5 has a rather tinny rear firing speaker and the iPhone a slightly better bottom firing unit with better low end in my opinion. Neither are really that great, but if I had to pick, the, uh, the iPhone 5S wins. As for the ports, the S5 has rather strange USB 3.0 micro B connector and the iPhone A lightning connector. Both have a headphone jack, which is great and it means you can get some, some decent connectivity there. For transferring files, the S5 is gonna be faster because it's got USB 3.0, but I personally don't transfer over a cable enough to make this a huge difference for me. So I would actually go with the lightning connector since it's a less bulky and seemingly a better designed cable. Both have fingerprint scanners, which is really nice to see on slightly older devices, but the 5S has the first revision of Touch ID, which isn't too bad. I actually prefer the speed and accuracy along with the activation, with it, which is a press actually over a swipe, which the S5 has which doesn't seem as great, but you still have them. So you both have fingerprint scanners, but I would definitely prefer the 5S due to its pressing nature instead of a swipe. I don't like that swiping motion. Unfortunately, you won't be getting Apple Pay on the 5S, so there isn't a huge amount of features on the iPhone compared to this jam-packed Galaxy S5, which quick charge, wireless charging, fingerprint scanner, heart rate monitor, OLED screen, micro SD expansion, and IP67 water and dust resistance, which is a huge mouthful, but you can kind of get the picture here. You're getting more reliability and usability on the iPhone 5S, whereas the uh, the Galaxy S5, you're gonna get much more of a, a feature-full device. It might not be as reliable, and it might not be as quick, and it might not feel like a newer phone, but you're getting so much usability there with the, with the heart rate monitor and all of these other fitness trackers and all that. It, it really does make more sense if you're looking for a more rugged, more usable phone. Well, that's basically the conclusion for me, guys. I've been Ryan Thomas. This has been the iPhone 5S versus the Galaxy S5, and let me tell you, I've recorded this voiceover so many times because I just can't get all of my words out but anyway yeah please do like the video if you liked it dislike it if you disliked it tell me in the comments your thoughts on the either of these phones or anything about the video ask a question you can request a phone to be featured in a video or if you want to donate me some csgo skins then i mean you can you can talk to me about that too of course i don't expect that kind of thing but i mean a donation would be super cool for making these videos anyway my name is ryan thomas please do subscribe if you're new around here and i will see you in the next one peace